Crazy Quilts friends. This week's video is another Thread Up box. You either love them or you hate them. I love them and uh, I am trying to get my hands on at least every Thread Up box that sells the categories that I sell and I was lucky enough to get my hands on a Thread Up scarf box. So I am not doing an unboxing because I couldn't resist. I already opened it up and peeked at everything but I am kind of pleased with how much I think I might be able to move these for on both Poshmark and eBay. So if you want to know what I got in my box, how much it costs, and most importantly, how much money I think I can make with it, then just keep on watching. Hi Sequels friends. As I said in the intro, this week's box is another Thread Up box. Um, I have been sourcing a lot through ThreadUp, as I'm sure you're aware. If um, It is a great way to source, especially if you are not keen on being out and about during the pandemic. Also, I love the mystery aspect of never knowing what you're going to get. And if you have been trying to shop ThreadUp during the pandemic, you will know that they are out of stock on things pretty regularly. I think the men's box and the women's clothing box is the only thing I've seen in stock consistently. The scarves are in stock fairly consistently um, and good luck getting your hands on anything else. Although I am checking every day and trying. I was. So if you are new here, my name is Heather. I am a part-time reseller on the Poshmark app as well as eBay and I use this YouTube channel to document my journey. So if you're interested in how to sell um, used clothing online, um, how to sell on Poshmark and eBay, all sorts of reseller tips and tricks, as well as some fun thrifty flips thrown in, then you will want to go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and ring my bell so you are notified every time I upload a video. And I am now uploading videos twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays. So ring that bell and you will be notified. Of course, as always, if you found this video to be helpful for you, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Your likes, comments, and all of that jazz let me know what kind of content to create for you in the future. So let's get into the facts first. So this is the Thread Up Scarf Box. I did receive 24 scarves. And the box cost me $21.99. Now that is because the box is $16 and I had to also pay a $5.99 shipping. Um, and that was to ship it to me here in North Carolina. So my box cost $21.99 and my, I ended up with 22 items that I am going to sell because I am donating one and I am keeping one for myself. So that works out to a dollar per scarf. So the amount we want to make sure that we make is at least $22 to cover the cost of the box. But I am pleasantly surprised. I think I might be able to pull in and I'm going to go ahead and give you the numbers up front here. I think I'm going to be able to pull in maybe 200 plus dollars with this box. Most now, all of these scarves I'm going to show you are going to be in the $9 to $14 range. I hope to make at least $9 on them. There are a few that I'm going to go ahead and put in as I do at my markdown price. So I'll price it normal, but go ahead and put it in a markdown category and put it as a sale just to see if that will help move it because it doesn't look like they're some of them don't look like they're going to generate a huge dollar amount um but i kind of just want to test the waters and see so let me show you what i got huge stack of scarves here that were all neatly put together and folded and then my lovely pity mad max came in sniffed them and knocked them all on the floor so now it's just a big humongous pile to show you so um there are a few of them that I'm pricing higher than the $10 to $14 range, and when I get to those, um, which this is one, I will denote that, and this is one of them. This is a super huge, just so you can kind of see, scarf, no brand, no name. It's a really pretty open weave. Just very, very nice. Um, very, feels like very good quality, but again, there is no um, 
no branding or anything on it. Because this feels like such good quality, I actually listed it at 24 and I'm hoping to get at least $14 for this one. This is very, very pretty. It's in this golden yellow that you've been seeing all over the place. It is a um, kind of a really big infinity scarf because it is sewn together here. I'll just show you the beautiful pattern on it. And again, I do not believe that this one had any tags. This is just H&M. It is a really pretty sheer and it has um, a bright white with little polka dots on it. There are, this is more of a true scarf. Um, again, no tags on this that same price range. This is very, very soft hand. Um, it almost has like that, uh, I don't know if you could see it on there, but like that mohair quality. So it makes me think that this one might actually be a natural, but I don't know for sure. So. I gotta love this. Really tell it like it is. Brand, fashion scarf, fashion scarf. Either way, make fun of the brand or not, it is a beautiful teal colored scarf. It has almost like this python print and lots of fun, fun fringe, super lightweight. Here's more of a traditional uh, style of scarf you would think of as a blanket scarf, almost like a pashmina, but it is actually a rayon, if I remember correctly, yes. And it is from World Market. So it is a true traditional scarf, as you can see, there are, as with most of these scarves, some overall snags and such on it. I always disclose that, as I said before, and it has the fun fringe detail. Okay, I absolutely love this one. This is Ann Taylor. It is just Ann Taylor Factory. Um, it has this fun, like, raw edge fringy detail. But it has this beautiful navy with... Um, the geometric and again that is a nice big wrap this one is going to be in the higher price point range I'm going to do a 14 to 24 on this again it does not have any tags it is like that other one where it has a bit of that mohair quality super soft hand open weave and um, it just makes me feel like it's probably a natural fiber I did bring this is one that I put directly on to sale price because I think that the styling is very cool, the pattern is very cool, but it is just Forever 21. It's just Forever 21. So it's not super fancy. It also is quite, it's not frayed, pilly. It, it just, unless you like that, it's got, it does have some cleanup to do, but it's super thick, reversible a true traditional scarf with the fun fun fringe and this brand is echo i'm trying to find the tag to show you what that looks like very fun fashionable this is another one of those super big infinity scarves so you can wear it open and long or double it up and a fun white with tonal gray detail and what i really like about it is it has those pops of pink as well as that hot pink contrast stitching. This is one of those that I don't even know if it's worth putting on at all, but I'm kind of just want to see if anybody reacts to it, whether it gets any likes, so I did put it on to see. Um, this just looks like a t-shirt scarf, but it actually feels more like a, a woven than a t-shirt. It is a super huge infinity scarf, like the last one that I showed you, um, but it has all this cut out fringe detail, which again, looks like a t-shirt scarf, but it doesn't, it's not t-shirt material. Of course, it doesn't have a tag on it for me to disclose what type of material it really is. Um, not really sure about that, but it does have this kind of apocalyptic feel to it. So I figured um, I would at least put it on and see if that means anything to anybody. This is unbranded. It is 100% um, viscose. It does have a little tag, but all it's doing is telling me that it's viscose. And it's a very simple, easy, light weight. And it is in this creamy yellowish color. This again is Echo. Look at that tonal variation. And if I just wanna show you up close cause it is a knit crochet, a nice open weave, this beautiful, and it is an infinity as well. Here's a good chunky scarf. This is a Hobby Lobby. 
fun, fun mint green pistachio, whatever you want to call it, and it is that chunky, chunky knit infinity. Really pretty crochet. Look at all that detail. And in this lovely, it might read a gray on camera, but it's almost like gray with a blue undertone. Um, really, really pretty. And again, it's an infinity scarf, so you have that. Now, this is one that I am not selling. It's George. I imagine you get this at Walmart for like five bucks. I'm so. actually keeping for myself. I believe it's unbranded. It is. It has several snags on it and um, threads, but I'm always looking for scarves to wear for over your leggings and stuff for dance class. And I love this print, beautiful color with on that black ground, or you could see the reverse side, which is pretty cool too. So I kept that one for okay. This is, I believe, H&M, if I remember correctly. Let's see if we can find a tag. Here it is. Yes, divided by H&M. It's a chunky knit, and it's kind of like a, a knot, like a bubble knit. I don't know what that's called, but it has a much more texture to it than the normal knits do. Again, that one is an infinity as well. This was an awesome find. This is the one that is worth the most amount of money, but I'm not sure what the demand is for it. Um, there have been a few that have sold on eBay and they've sold in the $50, $60 range. This is um, Canada with our maple leaf and it's by Hudson Bay. And, and I think there's a tag too. And it was a special Olympics edition. Nice, thick quality. Like I said, it says. And that one um, is going for uh, the 50 to 60 range. I started it at 59, but I hope to get at least 30 bucks for it. Here's a more traditional scarf in like a creamy white. This one the tag is cut out of, so I don't know the brand, but it is a rayon. There is some all over um, snags, as I've said with all the other ones, and so that was disclosed. And there is one small stain that wouldn't come out, and that was disclosed. But another lightweight, pretty coloration. Here's a more traditional scarf. It doesn't have a brand but to show you the label. It's a reversible uh, green and yellow paisley with this beigey gray fringe. And again, it's reversible. So if you want more of a yellow effect, and if you want more of the green effect. And these last three are some of my favorites. These are just really beautiful. And I believe that all of these I priced at a little bit higher price point, even it may have started it at 24 or 19. But again, as long as I get that $10 for it, I would be very, very happy. This is unbranded, but I'll still show you the tag. This is gorgeous. Very regal, paisley, that red and yellow. You have all this fringe. And what I really like is, I hope, oh yeah, you can see that in there. All that metallic thread running through. It really feels like quality, quality. It's very thick. It has this cool, I don't know, I'm calling it like a wave pattern. Very geometric, um, fun, fringy tassel details. You go from orange to blue greens to orange to blue greens. But and the last one in the bundle is a very traditional. And again, this is another one, super duper duper soft hand. Really makes me think that this is a natural fiber. It also has a um, pretty significant amount of pilling on it, which again makes me think that it's most likely a natural fiber. Let's see if I can get that in there. It's all over. So you have the raw edge and the fun fringe, but this is much more of a classic traditional blanket scarf. Big, big, big.
That box is normally retails for $16, um, but mine was $21.99 because I did need to pay shipping on it. And each of these scarves, the 22 out of the 24 that I kept, um, will work out to about a dollar each. So it's a little less than a dollar if you keep all of them. If you could get $10 for each of them, then that's $220. Well worth the $22 investment. Wow. Once I sell through at least 50% of these items here, then I will go ahead and do a follow-up um, video that shares the sales detail. I do these follow-up videos on the sales and that gives us a better understanding as to whether or not I'm too advantageous in the beginning, which is something that I can correct going forward. But we won't know until we sell through some. So if you wanna know what this sold through, then you're gonna wanna go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you ring that bell so you will be notified as soon as I upload a new video. I am currently uploading videos every Friday and every Tuesday. So do hit that button so that you are in the know. Do you think I can move these? Um, is $10 out the door too advantageous of a price? Um, would you get rid of some more of these and send them to Goodwill and not waste the time photographing them? All those questions, let me know. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. I would love to know how it worked out for you. All of your information is super helpful to not only myself, but anybody else who comes into this video and has some questions then they may be able to find that you have the answers. So I would totally appreciate you sharing those with us. Um, so I wanna tell you, thank you so much. Thank you to everybody who's been subscribing to my channel. I very much appreciate it. Virtual hugs to you all. And that is it for this video. And have a fantabulous week. I shall see you soon with the next video. Take care everybody, bye-bye.